Burton for the Supplemental Instruction Series of Videos for Chemistry 121. And today we'll be discussing molarity. Now molarity is essentially a unit of concentration and it's in terms of moles of a solute in a solution divided by the liters of the solution. Now usually, typically when you report the units it's moles per one liter of solution. And it's written as either capital M or moles over liters. Now, what would this be useful for? Well, you might have, say, a certain molarity concentration and a certain volume. And you want to know how many moles is in the solution to use it for a certain chemical reaction. So, let's try a problem with that, for example. So, it won't be quite like the problem I just described. So, say we have two moles of HCl, and that's dissolved in, we'll say, five liters of water. So, if we wanted to find molarity, well, molarity we can just re represent that as a capital M. That's just your number of moles divided by your number of liters. That's just two moles uh, So, if you do the calculations, you get 0 0.40 molar HCl. And that's how you report your answer. Typically, you'd use the capital N. Yeah, you could also use the moles per liter, but more often you'll see this. Then, what if we don't know, say, moles or liters? Well, say we had uh, 0.25 liters of a three molar solution of sodium hydroxide. Say you wanted to find the moles of the sodium hydroxide. Well, we could rearrange this equation right here to get the moles by itself. In this case, our moles are just going to be equal to the molarity times the liters. In this case, that's three molar times 0.25 liters and that is 0.75 moles NaOH. Now notice I said liters, but it's liters of solution, not necessarily liters of solvent, but more often than not the two are almost exactly equal, so they're kind of interchangeable. But anyways, that's how you would find, say, moles from molarity in liters, which could be very important if you want to know how much of the solution you're going to need to carry out a certain reaction. Then there's the problem of dilution. Maybe your solution that you have is too highly concentrated with something for you to use. Maybe you want to water it down a little, dilute it. Now this here is the equation we're going to be using for dilution. C1V1 equals C2V2. Of course, molarity is a unit of concentration, which is what C stands for in the equation, so we can use it just fine in this equation. So say you have five molar sodium chloride solution, and you have 10 milliliters of that. But say that's a little too strong, and you wanna want to dilute it down to 0.5 molar NaCl solution. So, in this case, you want to use this equation to find out what volume of water, what volume of water you might want to add to it in order to dilute it to this concentration. So, since we know, since this is C1, this is V1, 
and then this is C2. V2 is what we're looking for. So in this case, we want to get V2 by itself in this equation. And so V2 is going to equal C1 V1 over C2. And then from this point, it's essentially plug and chug. Now, even though molarity is in units of moles per liter, and you have milliliters here, you don't need to convert the milliliters to liters because they'll often end up, because either the milliliters or molarity will often end up canceling anyway, so you don't need to worry about that. So we have, let's see, five molar CO times 10 milliliters. That's divided by 0.5. Doing the math, we get a final volume of <clears throat> 100 milliliters. Now, this is when you want to find the final volume. If, you, for ex if, say, you want to just find how much water you need to add to it, you just subtract V1 from V2 to get that total volume of water you need to add. And so, essentially, that is what you can do with molarity.